It's true. All you need is love. And a train. NVIDIA's acquisition of ARM was always going to face some pretty intense scrutiny before it gets approved, and it looks like that's exactly what's happening right now. Reports indicate that the British government is going to be looking into the deal, not only to determine whether it might be anti-competitive, but also due to national security concerns. Which kind of makes sense when you consider ARM has long been looked at as a neutral designer that's now being taken over by an out-of-country firm in NVIDIA. And those prank bombs they placed in the office of the Lieutenant Inspector Attorney General didn't help either. That'll get you right into prison. The initial report is set Great. to be released by the end of July. Ah. And while it isn't exactly clear how long the process will take, it doesn't look like the merger is going to be completed anytime soon. Maybe we'll all finally have graphics cards by the time it does. Maybe. But the next big shortage we'll have to worry about might not even be chips. It may actually be storage, which does involve chips. And the reason might surprise you. Although we're used to thinking of crypto as being something that demands high-powered GPUs, new types of cryptocurrencies such as Chia instead leverage hard drives and SSDs. The idea is that a user will allocate disk space instead of GPU resources in order to contribute to the blockchain. The growing popularity of this type of crypto is already causing a surge in demand in China with miners buying high-capacity hard drives en masse, and price increases are expected to follow in the near future. So, maybe next year you'll finally be able to run your Steam games, but have nowhere to store them. Oh! No. It's time to bring back CD-ROMs, baby. Woo! Woo! Phone storage! No. How do you off those? That's too slow. It's EMMC. It's a different thing altogether. Okay, Anthony. Of course, brands are still trying to take measures to stop crypto-related product shortages, and it looks like NVIDIA is going to be doubling down on their efforts, as Team Green is reportedly going to be releasing a fully refreshed RTX 30 series stack with mining limiters, restricting the ability of users to mine Ethereum and other popular cryptocurrencies, allegedly. It's unhackable! This requires both hardware and software support, so you should be fine if you already have an RTX 3070, 3080, or 3090, and are trying to mine. Of course, if you're just trying to game, this is probably good news for you. And there are always other ways to earn passive income, like buying some crypto! Yay! Doge to the moon! And now it looks like it's time for the quick bits. Thank you, John, for scripting this in. The Drop Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones are what we're talking about today. They're one of Drop's all-time bestsellers with over 60,000 sold. The driver and sound structure compared to the HD 650 is completely unchanged, and it delivers balanced mid-range and a natural sounding bass response as well. They've included a detachable 6-foot cable instead of a 10-foot based on community feedback, along with a 1 8 inch plug that is versatile for everyday use. And in case you need one, it comes with a quarter-inch adapter as well. And it comes with Sennheiser's long-term support. Click the link below to join the drop today. Riley didn't write a Quick Bits thing, so Let's it's see. time for... Time for Quick Bits. On to the Quick Bits. The RTX 3080 Ti has been a topic of discussion for several months now, and it looks like they're finally making their way to retailers. A box of the new cards was spotted in Hong Kong this weekend, so hopefully we'll see them soon, as there's a pretty large gap both in price and performance between the 3080 and 3090 that it makes sense for Nvidia to fill. But the MSRP on them is supposedly 999 US. That actually makes them cheap. Oh. I'm so, That's so the sad. That's MSRP though. That, that, that's MSRP. Yeah, you're gonna pay like three times that on eBay. Yeah, that's before I get it and sell it. Thank you, Riley. NASA has made history again as the Ingenuity Mars, a helicopter specifically built for flight on, well, Mars. Oh! Ha! Huh, imagine that. <laughs> Makes sense took off and landed successfully on the Red Planet, making it the first aircraft to complete a controlled, powered flight on a world not named Earth. I'm sure the Wright brothers would be jealous if NASA hadn't named the area Wright Brothers Field, but no word yet if NASA is planning a uh, biplane flight on Mars in the future. Martians already have those, so... They had them long ago. Yeah, you don't need to do it. Yeah, yeah, this caveman technology to them. Two passengers in a Tesla have passed away after a crash outside of Houston. The accident happened this weekend with a 2019 Model S crashing at high speed while no one was at the wheel, indicating the passengers may have been using, and unfortunately misunderstanding, the autopilot and or the beta full self-driving feature. Some commenters are pointing out that Tesla might need to do a better job ensuring consumers know the limitations of the car's self-driving technology to avoid accidents like this in the future, or at least until fully autonomous driving becomes a reality. In happier news, if you've been waiting for the Xbox Cloud Gaming to hit your non-Android device, your wait may be over tomorrow, as some Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members will be able to play on the service on Windows and iOS instead of just on Android. Woo! 
It's still in beta, but you'll be able to play over 100 games in your browser, and Microsoft hopes to make the service available to everyone who signed up for Game Pass Ultimate over the next few months. We can only hope that it's a smoother rollout than Google Stadia. But they got Cyberpunk 2077 first. That's true, it's great service. but you know, they also had the whole negative latency thing that turned out to be pretty negative. I love it. And Nintendo is suing Bowser! What? Believe it or not, but uh, we're not talking about the villain of its own creation, nor are we talking about the CEO of Nintendo of America. Rather, the defendant is one Gary Bowser, <laughs> what are the odds, who heads a team of Switch hackers that have been selling software that enables piracy. Given Nintendo's historically heavy-handed approach towards protecting its own IP, the suit isn't surprising, especially as Bowser has already been arrested for fraud, but not for kidnapping Princess Peach. Yeah, that's that would be fraud. Yeah, that, that, that would be false imprisonment. And that's our show. Wednesday's tech news won't be in another castle. In fact, it'll be right here. So we'll see you then. You're going down, Anthony. Okay, bye. <laughs>